The minifigures are based off of four of the new Disney Plus Marvel series. WandaVision, Loki, Falcon and Winter Soldier, and the newest one, What If. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, I'm Cece and welcome to Cafe's Corner. Thanks to LEGO, I was sent a full box of the new LEGO Marvel CMF series. There are 12 minifigures in this series and they're going to retail for $4.99 USD. I'm not sure how much that is in other countries, but I'm sure you can go to the LEGO website and check that out yourself. Now, these will be on release September 1st in your area it's a box of 36 and i know typically we get 60. i'm really excited to get into these i am a huge marvel fan and i have been really enjoying most of the disney marvel series and that's what these minifigures are based off the minifigures are based off of four of the new disney plus marvel series wandavision loki falcon and winter soldier and the newest one what if Ideally, in a box of 36, we should receive three full sets. Now, I know last few CMF series, there was some confusion with people not even receiving a full set of the 12 within 18 or 20 of them. But I'm going to open up 18 of them, and we're going to see how many duplicates we have and if we can get a full set of 12. I'm also going to be telling you guys what pieces to fill out for so that you can find the ones that you're specifically looking for. So if you have some favorites, be sure to listen out for the feel guide tips later in the video. Stay tuned. So the first one here is going to be the Zombie Captain America. You can see here it's got leg and arm printing. Very cool. Obviously printing on the helmet comes with the the glove it's got this really cool torso printing one face no alternate face printing but printing on the front and the back of the minifigure all right so here we have Gamora with the blade of Thanos she's from the what if series and I forgot to say that the zombie Captain America is also from the what if series now here's the thing with Gamora these blades are actually bigger than I was expecting so if you're gonna fill for the Gamora you want to definitely fill for the blades as well as the hilt here and her hair is the only one it appears that has like a side swooping everybody else's hair is kind of splits apart in the middle and flows backwards so that's going to be your three big giveaways for finding gamora and this figure does have alternate face printing looks like we got monica rambo here so here is monica rambo man I loved her in WandaVision, so she's our first minifigure that we've gotten from the show WandaVision, and she's in her Sword Spectrum outfit. So I've been really loving Monica, this figure. Her hairpiece is giving me life. She comes with this drone, because I don't know if you guys remember or if you've seen the show WandaVision, she sends in a drone, and then when it goes into the force field it comes out as a toy helicopter so this is pretty cool that they kind of did a nod back to that part of the show and goes wonderfully with the monica figure there her alternate face is a bit more stern so not necessarily angry which i love it's just kind of more of a stern face not everybody's happy all the time so we got another gamora for our fourth one all right so opening up the fifth bag hey this one looks like we have another monica ram bow this one seems like it's going to be falcon but there's like a cape in here so let's see all right yeah it looks like we got falcon so that extra crinkling that I heard and felt is going to be this bag here when you're filling for Falcon. All of his main fig pieces come in this little like cape bag and then the wings are going to be on the outside. Alright, so we do have Falcon here. The dead giveaway is going to be the wings here. You can't really go by the shield because we have the 
zombie Captain America as well as Captain Britain both have the shield as well as Falcon. So you really want to look out for the wings here as well as the drone. That's such a unique shape with it being the triangle. It's going to be a for sure giveaway if you're trying to find yourself a Falcon. Taking a look at the fig overall here. Great figure once again. All of these are just amazing. If you look at the torso here, great printing. Does have arm printing. Is a dual molded arm with the white and the blue. Printing on there. Printing on the front and side for the legs. Let's take a look at the back here. No leg printing on the back, but there is torso printing on the back, but the wings are in the way. Just everything very well done. They pulled out all the stops here for the Marvel CMF. All right, so we have back number seven here. And looks like we have Winter Soldier. All right, so bag number eight here is going to be Winter Soldier Bunky, Bucky Barnes. His torso is quite nice, if I do say so myself. And he does have an alternate face, so let's turn the hair piece around. Boom. We have a nice looking Bucky there. He's got arm printing. So if you're going to be trying to fill your way for a Bucky, you're going to want to take a look out or keep an eye out for the daggers. Looks like there are four minifigures here with shields. So be mindful, but keep an eye out for the daggers. They come in twos, so shouldn't be too hard to identify. All right, so after feeling quite a few, about two to four, I'd say, I kind of lost count there, but I did find T'Challa's Star-Lord. What you want to do is feel for his blasters as well as his helmet. He's got the curly hair, so you'll be able to feel that through the bag, but it won't be as big as Monica. So same hair texture, but the size is different. Here we go, we got the purple suit, the blasters. It's dual molded with black and brown for his boots. He doesn't have an alternate face, but let's see how he looks with the helmet on. Boom, looking very cool. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Really digging the T'Challa Star-Lord. All right, looks like we got ourselves a Peggy. All right, so after shifting through, there seems to be quite a disproportionate amount of Falcons in at least this side of my box. But we found Peggy Carter, a.k.a. Captain Britain or Captain Carter, as it says on the Lego site. So let's take a look at her. She comes with a Tesseract down here and a British version of the Captain America shield. She's also got the Union Jack there on her chest, arm printing, leg printing. Let's take a look at that. Very nice there. And she's got some back torso printing. She also has an alternate stern face. So what you want to take a or keep an eye out for when you're trying to feel for the Captain Britain here. It's definitely her hairpiece. The shield is tough because honestly, I thought I was about to get a fifth Falcon, but the hairpiece is a dead giveaway for a Captain Britain here. All right, so it looks like Sylvie here, which the gator is a giveaway. All right, so next up we have Sylvie from the show Loki. She comes with the gator, which as I said, is a big giveaway if you're looking for her. She has a blade. Let's look a little bit closer at her. She's got like a full black and gray outfit. The Loki uh, like horn or headpiece there. And that is one uh, headpiece. So it's not two. She's got dual molded arms with a little bit of arm printing. No printing on the legs and some torso printing. Overall, a pretty decent fig almost halfway through this side of the box and I don't think that we're gonna be able to get a full set I've gotten a lot of duplicates but let's keep All going right, so we got Loki here finally you can find him with frog Thor 
and a mug, which makes it pretty easy to find him. His hair is kind of similar feeling to Gamora's or Peggy's, so that's not kind of the easiest way to feel for him. You want to look out for the mug and the frog Thor, like I said. But let's take a closer look here at the fig. He's got darker brown pants, a printed torso for his suit. On the back, it says variant, which is cool. And he does have alternate face printing. We've opened 13 so far because a lot of the ones I felt were duplicates or I opened them off screen. We have one more to see if we can get a full set. Honestly, don't think it's going to happen for one side of the box. So be mindful and hopefully you can take my field guide tips, which I'll consolidate at the end. So this is actually from another side because opening a full side of 18 left me with about 11 duplicates. Now, feeling this one here, I'm pretty sure this one is Spider-Man because of his web rope thing that he comes with. So it's not just a standard string, but it has like these two parts, these cylindrical parts that all link together so you can kind of like map your way through and you'll feel that that for sure is going to be your zombie hunter spider-man so let's go ahead and open it kind of nervous that i'm going to cut a cape or something and as you can see we got spider-man so our first one as we saw was a spider-man zombie hunter spider-man to be correct or to be precise he comes with a hairpiece and an alternate head that is two-sided so I'll show you that in a second but yeah definitely the web is gonna be the easiest way to find him he's got two capes nice torso printing for the uh, the torso dual molded legs we have arm printing there and let's let's flip the cape and you can see he's got printing on the back there so overall a very nice fig for Peter Parker here. Let's go ahead, put the head on or switch the heads out and we'll see what that looks like. So we have his worried face here and we'll turn the head piece around, flip down the cape to show you that is his alternate face. All right, so after quite a bit of searching, we were able to find a Scarlet Witch, AKA Wanda. Maximoff. So she comes with these blaster hand pieces, dual molded arms, great torso printing. Man, this is such a fantastic figure. And I don't know if that's just because I liked WandaVision, the show, so much, and I like the character Scarlet Witch so much. But yeah, also considering the fact that she's kind of like the only X Men right now in the Marvel Universe, I'm, I'm a fan. She's got leg printing here as well. Comes with a cape, different material than that of Peter Parker. She does have an alternate face, and I'll show you that in a second. But what I like about this one is that they give her the red eyes for when she's activating her powers. Now let me switch to the other head. Switching her hair piece around, you can see her sweet, non-powers activated face. You know, just kind of very normal. We're going about life that sort of face loving it this is one of my favorite figs and so with scarlet witch here we only have one more that we need to get a full set so let's go find that one and i'll be so right after back. some searching actually not that much searching we found the white vision he was actually right after the wanda figure so it may be the same for your box but yeah if you find wanda then Chances are you're going to find Vision right after. He comes in this like separate bag. So um, there's a couple of them that come with a separate bag. So maybe don't look for that as the indicator. So last but not least, we have White Vision here. Great looking fig. I'm loving the way that they did this. He has dual molded legs. No alternate face print which makes sense. He comes with a cape that has similar fabric to Wanda's, so not as stiff as the one for Peter Parker or traditional capes that we usually see with Lego CMFs. Got some printing on the back there. 
and you can see his leg printing. Also off to the side here, he has a kind of like a computer. I'm guessing from the scene where he was kind of reborn and there were all these like futuristic holographic computer things. So you have a holographic uh, keyboard there and a screen. Pretty cool. I like all the different colors and things and I feel like really they went above and beyond with this series. But let's look at all 12 of the minifigs all together. And so here are our 12 of the figures. Man, do these things look great. Okay, so after going through a full box of 36, you don't get three full sets, at least not in my box. I got one full set of 12 and a crap ton of duplicates. Hey, Future CC here. So I did have three full sets. They were just very oddly distributed. I had all of my Wanda's and Visions on one side of the box. So... Be mindful of that when you're out there hunting. All right, back to the video. It's gonna be a little difficult if you're gonna be out there hunting. So take a look at the field guide that I'm gonna put the cheat sheet down in the comments below, kind of consolidate all the thoughts that I put throughout the video, as well as my complete breakdown of how many I got of each figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and also you can't hear my crazy neighbors outside but if you did enjoy the video give it a like also subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!